As most of you know, Luigi got hit the hardest in the recent patch, 1.1.1. Indeed, he lost some solid follow-ups, but he also gained a lot of new ones, which is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video, on all the weight classes and percent ranges. Quite a lot of testing went behind this video, which is why it took so long, but I hope you enjoy. First of all, the base knockback for down throw has been decreased quite a lot as you can see. So what this allows us to do is to down throw to up B from about 0 to 10%. Here are all the characters that this works on. Against a few of them like Mario and Wario, you have to wait a split second after the down throw before hitting up B. If you can't retreat to the ledge or under a platform, you may eat a small punish. Sure, this combo is easy and strong, but there is an even deadlier combo that works on a handful of the cast from about 0 to 10%, utilizing up throw into two forward airs, re-grab, down throw, down air, fast fall neutral air into an aerial. There is, however, one small window of opportunity for your opponent to escape by doing a move that comes out on frame 3 or less after the first forward air. If they miss that, then the rest is guaranteed if you execute it correctly. Just in case they go backwards after the first forward air, you can try to save the combo by doing a fast fall up air. With those two solid combos explained, let's get into the more general combos that we can do on various weight classes, starting with fast fallers. Here are the characters that fall under this category. I separated what combo works on who in the description as accurately as I could, so check that out after the video. Now, I've already mentioned what works from about 0 to 10% on these guys, so from about 10 to 40%, you can down throw, short hop down air into a fast fall neutral air, then connect an aerial or an up smash. If you miss your sweet spot down air because the opponent DI'd, you can still connect a weak down air into a forward air. Just to note, the down air meteor hitbox is much easier to land now because it got a size increase from the patch. From about 40 to 50%, the only true follow up is down throw into two forward airs. From 50 to about 100, you'll only be able to get one guaranteed follow up, which is an up air, back air, or down air. From about 100 to 115%, follow up with a cyclone. If you catch the fast faller with no DI at around 85%, an up B follow up is possible, but you'll have to be extremely fast. Compared to pre patch, the growth of Luigi's down throw has increased drastically. The most prominent change that comes out of this is that the down throw to cyclone kill setup is no longer guaranteed. All characters can now air dodge at their respective kill percents. Down throw to down B can still work, but it's now a rock paper scissors situation. At kill percent, after a down throw, the opponent can either air dodge, attack, or jump. To counter the air dodge option, you'll have to bait it out by waiting for it, then do a hovering cyclone so that they fall right into it. If they predict you're doing this, they could throw out an attack to counter you, in which case you should go right into the rising cyclone. If you're fast enough, you should catch most attacks before they come out. The immediate rising cyclone will also catch their jump option. To pull it off, you need to hit jump, then double jump, and immediately mash down B as soon as possible. But once they get caught in it, slow down your mashing or they'll be able to smash DI out. Overall, this cyclone kill mixup is still difficult to pull off since the angle in which the opponent can DI has increased significantly, which means you'll need to react very quickly for this to work. When the percent gets too high, the opponent can safely jump out, in which case, just settle for a back throw. Next up, let's look at heavyweights. Here are all the characters that lie in this category. From 0 to 20%, you want to down throw forward air into a fast fall neutral air, then finish off with an up tilt or an up smash. From 20 to 30%, you can do two forward airs and one more double jump forward air. From 30 to 50%, do forward air into an up air. Fast fall the up air to potentially extend the combo. 50 to 70%, you can do full jump into two forward airs. 70 to 120%, down throw to back air or up air or cyclone. Past 120, the only follow up you can get is the rising cyclone mix up. Now let's move on to medium weights. And again, these are all the characters that fall under this category. You're going to see some of the same combos overlap between weight classes, but the main difference will be the percentage range they will work at. From 0 to 20%, do forward air into fast fall neutral air. 20 to 30%, you can do down throw, down air into a fast fall neutral air, then up smash. 30 to 40%, forward air into an up air. 40 to 70%, you can get one aerial. 70 to 110%, up air or cyclone. Past 110% is of course the rising cyclone mix up. Something interesting to note, aside from character knockback differences, the reason why certain follow-ups connect more easily than others is because Luigi can react out of his throw more quickly the lighter the opponent is. You can see it here in a side-by-side -side comparison of a down throw on Jigs versus a down throw on Bowser. 
Luigi's shield comes out 8 frames faster. Last but not least, we have the lightweights. 0-10% is again, down throw, forward air to fastball neutral air. 10-20%, down throw, double forward air into a double jump forward air. From 20-50%, to 50 you can only follow up with 2 forward airs. Do a full jump after about 30%. 50 to 100% down throw to up air, down air, or down B. Past 100%, of course, the rising cycle mix up. Rage will of course increase knockback, making combos connect earlier, or not work after a certain threshold. As a recipient, your best option is to mix up your DI and mash jump, or throw out a fast attack. This will get you out of a lot of Luigi's non guaranteed down throw combos. I highly wouldn't recommend air dodging, because you'll probably lag on the ground and get punished anyways. Some of the things in my first Luigi combo tutorial still apply, like the position you have to be in to get the perfect aerial up B, how to smash the eye out of a rising cyclone, and reduce knockback at the ledge. Well, that pretty much sums it all up. Overall, the changes to Luigi is quite a big nerf, but as they say, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Also, I just reached 100,000 subscribers, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all your comments, your views, your feedback, everything. I do read all the comments. If I don't get a chance to reply sometimes, I apologize. But I love you guys, you guys are awesome. Hopefully there'll be many more years to come. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.